Welcome to a beginner's guide of Cube Cavern. Cube Cavern is an RNG-based exploration game on Roblox with tons of items to find, craft, and unlock so you can create your own unique gameplay experience. Upon spawning in the CC tutorial, your character will be a little black dude wearing a shirt of a random color. The first thing you will see it will be the book. The book has tons of useful information on how the game is played, separated into neat categories. Although as useful as that may sound, we have a website that does the same thing and doesn't take up an inventory slot. I'll put the link in the description. Next, you will stumble upon a huge pit. This is where gameplay controls are taught. Space to jump. Shift to crawl. Hitting E will allow you to pick up items, and holding Q will allow you to select what kind of item you will drop. This allows you to craft things on crafting tables. Now you are shown how keys can un unlock doors, that you can collect bullets and coins, and that each has a special slot on your GUI for displaying how many you have of them. Finally, after the game shows you how bread affects your health, you are allowed to go to the lobby, at last. Once in the lobby, I suggest finding a hairstyle that you like. I personally prefer the mustache, as you can see. By the way, click X to view your character. And you can choose a skin tone in the back of the room. Besides that, you can choose a hair color. I went to brown, and then back to black, just to demonstrate how the feature worked. After customizing your character, go to the other side of the lobby to create a room. I suggest doing the yellow dungeon, as it is the only one that currently has a boss. Now that we've loaded in, it is our goal to find a string and a rope to create a pack so we can have more inventory storage. I was lucky and found a gun early on, but I decided not to use it, as it's not likely many of my viewers will be as lucky as I was. So right here you can see a little bit of the uh, fighting gameplay, but I'm about to fast forward in a moment, just to the point where I get... Uh, either some leather or some string to keep this from being too long and dragged out. So, this is the point where I found some leather, so I just killed the mobs in front of it, took the leather, and we're gonna go back into fast forward mode until I get the string. Right 
Remember to collect coins, keys, bullets, and anything else that doesn't take inventory space on the way. Just in case anyone was wondering what happened here, when I had two health, I saw the rotten bread and decided it wasn't worth the risk to my health to eat it. Then I fell on a mob and came back up to eat it because when you're at one health, the rotten bread will always give you another, regardless of its uh, quote unquote 50 50 chance. So, I've slowed down the footage again, because we're about to approach the shop, which always uh, appear on the second floor, where I found my string. It's over there on the right, and I'm about to notice it. There we go. So, I bought it, and then switched it for the gun, because I wasn't planning on using the gun. Then I went and knifed the shopkeeper's hat, because you can get their hats if you knife them, and that counts for every dungeon, not just the yellow one. Then I looked around for a second before going into the back room and crafting my rope and my leather together to make a backpack. The backpack changes your inventory from three to five slots. Then I bought a piece of bread and went into the back room to store my top hat that I had just gotten by knifing the shopkeeper. After this, I decided the next logical move to make would be to grab a bottle so we could enchant our dagger so we have a better chance against the boss. You may not have found a bottle at this point in the game, but don't worry, you still have the rest of this level and the level after that to find one. Not much else uh, is needed to fight the boss the first time. So, to enchant a dagger with a bottle, you have to capture the soul of an enemy. Different souls will give the diff different effects to the dagger, and I suggest going into the website in the description and seeing which one would suit you most. I'm going to go with the blue one when I do find a soul. And yes, I do realize on your screen you guys have already seen the blue soul, but I was an idiot and disregarded it until a few seconds later, which is quite typical of me. So, now that we have our soul, we have to fast forward again until we find a crafting table, so we can craft our dagger and our soul to make a enchanted version of said dagger.
So this is where I craft my dagger with my blue bottle to create a dagger B. It's still okay if you're not at this point yet, as I still have another floor before I reach the boss. So I'm just going to go through and do this floor pretty much all in fast forward relatively quickly, but I want you guys to know I did this first le uh, room instead of going past it, because there is a hat at the top of it. It will always be that witch hat that I'm about to get. Just because of this part of the video is a bit content dry, I just want to say if this video gets enough uh, positive response, I will do a video showing a whole bunch of easter eggs and stuff like that. So, if you want to see something like that, say so in the comments, I guess. I could also do a sequel to this in a sense, that I just show how to get further with the things that we've already gotten by the end of this video, um, and if you guys would rather see that, or see them both, once again, just say so in the comments. So, here we are at the boss room with our pack, our blue dagger, and I have a gun that I won't use. Oh, and I only have one health, so that proves this boss is not too hard.
So the boss has a pretty easy uh, attack format. He sends one pillar of light that goes across the room, then little pillar of light meteors at you, and then when he comes down, he'll uh, send his own personal meteors from himself to you, and when all three of those are done, he'll go into an idle position so you can attack him until his next combat phase, I guess. And I think I'm just going to fast forward the rest of this uh, battle till the end, because this video is uh, getting a bit lengthy at this point, and I don't want it to drag on for too much longer. In the boss's final phase, he attacks more frequently, and his light attacks across the room. Instead of just being one beam, it's a cross. But other than that, it's basically the same. So there you go. If you've managed to follow along this tutorial this long, you have just made it to the end of the first bus in the game in your first time playing. Congratulations! So, take that black bottle, or the bottle C as the game refers to it, and whatever special loot you get from the other box, I got a red gun, which is a more powerful version of it, and uh, go back to the lobby. So, in the lobby, you can craft your pack and your bottle C to make a jetpack, which has the same amount of storage and allows you to fly in short bursts. Um, that's what I was doing here in this clip, but for some reason I just kind of went dead inside and totally failed like the first two times I tried it. So, if you enjoyed this video, please like and you know, subscribe if you'd like. I hardly ever make content, but still, be nice to have some subscribers. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye!